You're sitting in your favorite cafe, typing away at your computer. Drinking coffee, tea, juice, I'm gonna need coffee. Some very bird co- Why would you do me like this? Why would you burn my goddamn coffee? But you don't come here for the drinks. The atmosphere is just what you need right now for work. You haven't finished yesterday's assignments. And already your boss is breathing down your neck about Monday's overdue work. And you don't need another reason to hear him, like, complain. Suddenly you feel a chill. It feels like someone is watching you. What do you do? I look up. Someone is staring. Uh, ignore it, keep working, stare harder, give him a question. I'm gonna stare harder! Is he coming over? Well, I'm not gonna stop. Why would you make me stop staring? I am committed to the bit. I want to keep staring. He can't be, right? Oh, well, uh, are we gonna have a stare off now? Are we gonna see like who's the bigger creep here? Did he just shut my laptop? What's your name? Ah, uh, well, I'm a tell him. It's Lion. Yeah, that's perfect. I... I seen you walking and I couldn't help but stare. You look exactly how I imagined a character in the book I'm working on. So, can I have your number? Uh, okay. We, we barely had a conversation, my dude. He hears the confusion in your voice. I don't have the time to talk now, but I really need to learn more about you. Uh, sure, why not? He's kind of cute. In a weird, kind of creepy, awkward way. You smile and grab a nearby napkin to write your number down on. You hand it to him and he quickly stands up, close, closing in on you. On impulse, you shut your eyes. What should I do? Uh, I open them? Oh! He's kissing me! You freeze up and don't say anything. Just letting the moment happen. What does someone even do when a stranger randomly kisses their forehead? I'll see you later. Uh, well, uh, I, um... Uh... Strong start! Very strong start! What the hell? You stare into space, stunned and confused. Did that really just happen? Before you think too long about it, you grab your drink and go. Later at home, you try to unwind with your favorite cooking show, but can't seem to get comfortable. The air feels weird, like someone's staring. I can't just sit here like this. I need to do something to take my mind off of it, or I'll go insane. Uh, go out for some fresh air. Your head's all over the place. Maybe you just need some fresh air. You grab your keys and head out. You've been walking for a few minutes. Hours. Days. Who knows? All you know is that you need to hit the gym because it's getting harder and harder to breathe, and you're barely strolling. Maybe it's time to head home. You pause. That feeling's back again. And it's worse this time. Your head is pounding. Maybe it was that drink earlier. Either way, you need a place to sit down and fast. You try speed walking, but it gets harder and harder as the air starts to feel thicker. You walk faster and faster. I just need to get to an open shop or something. You slow down a bit, trying to catch your breath. Everything is quiet. Too quiet. You attempt to speed up, but your body is incooperating. Your body is falling heavier by the second. You pray that this something is open. O open? Anything. You don't want to pass out here. Please. Yeah! The cafe from earlier! You speed up. You're almost there. And I don't make it to the cafe? Frick! Your body gave out. Now you're face down on the ground. What in the Stardew Valley is this? Your heart feels like it's beating out of your chest and you're barely breathing. 
And your position definitely ain't helping. Please tell me that I have just like collapsed like family guy style. <laughs> you hear someone chuckling. Getting closer. I'll never get tired of this. You feel a cold hand on your neck. Ah, I may have put a little too much. Oh well. You'll be up and moving again in a few hours. Hopefully. You feel a hand on your shoulder, and you turn to your back. Your breathing quickens once you realize who it was that was chasing you. Oh! Hey, my dude! Calm down, or you'll hurt yourself. I am very calm, like, oddly calm. I mean, hey, hey, I think someone put something in my drink, my man. Do, do, you, know, do, you, know any, do you know anything about that? Do you want to have a heart attack? You try to calm down, but your body doesn't listen. I mean, define heart attack. This whole situation is making a heart pound of your chest. Don't make me repeat myself. You attempt to calm down again. You feel your heart rate slowly go down and you're breathing steady. I don't think it's that easy unless I'm actually calm around this dude. Good. Good. Yes. You be good. You may need a little disciplining, but that'll be f What do you mean I need a little disciplining? What do you mean? I have been good this whole time. In fact, maybe a little too good. Should I start being a little brat? Do you want me to be a little brat to you? Is that what you want? Is that what you need? Is that what you like? Uh, yeah. You're perfect. You tried to say something, but... Before you can, he places something over your eyes. Now, let's get you in the car. A good ch- What? Why did I just have an option to just, like, stroll along with him? Like, I- I- I was, like, so willing to just go, apparently. I- I mean, yeah, I was a little freaked out by what it was doing, but at the same time, my character was just chill, okay? What the hell? So, admittedly, None of your choices matter up to the point where you actually, like, end up at home and you decide whether you want to go out or just stay in. But I do want to see some of the other interactions. I'm just going to pretend to not, like, I I'm just going to pretend like nothing's wrong at all. I'm not even going to bother with this dude. Like, I'm just going to ignore the feeling of someone watching me. In the corner of your eyes, you see a figure move. Curious, you look over. No one's there. But did he just shut my laptop again? God, you are one rude mother lover. What's your name? I've already done this tango before. Let's skip ahead. Uh, why should I tell you that? Sorry, I got too excited. I. I've seen you walk in. I couldn't help but stay. I know. I look like I look like the person of your dreams. The Zembo that you have always desired. I'm skipping ahead. Okay, what? He hears the confusion in your voice. I don't have the time to talk now. Okay, okay. I know you really want my number, but that doesn't matter. You don't even bother calling me! You just showed up in the middle of night! And you'd expect me to get into some car with you? Okay, but anyway, I am out. Is this guy insane? He's gotta be joking. He's not. Absolutely not. Hell no. Before he has a chance to say anything, you grab your drink and leave. What a weirdo. You chug the last of your drink before throwing it away in a nearby trash can. Ugh. That was worse than usual. You feel a bit sick. Must have been because it was sitting... You sigh and head home with haste, hoping to quickly wash that horrible taste out of your mouth. All right, we're back home. Let it be. I feel absolutely horrible. And let's just go to bed. I should sleep. I have an early shift tomorrow anyway. You sigh. Ah, screw my life. Later into the night, you awake, head pounding and sweaty. You must have forgotten to turn the AC on. You try to turn to get out of bed, but you can't. Your chest feels heavy. 
Soon, you realize you're struggling to breathe. Actually, you can't move at all. You try to open your eyes, but it's pitch black. You never sleep with all the lights off. The hell is happening? You try to open your mouth to say something and... Shh. No use trying to speak. You'll only hurt yourself if you try and struggle. So no trying to scream. Be good for me. Okay? You stop trying to move. Mainly out of fear. Good. Something is removed off of your face. As the nightlight hits your eyes, they sting. Oh! Wow, we're doing this tango again. Wow! Wow! You're just perfect. Do you like it when I'm mean to you? Is this some sort of kink you have? So perfect. Let's go now. I want to get as much study time in as possible. He places the blindfold back on. Let's have fun together. Okay, lion? The perfect Mew. I'd like to remind you all that your choices don't matter here. Like, really? You get kidnapped either way. <laughs> and like, his reaction in both of these endings are more or less the same. <laughs> but I just like to imagine that he hates it when someone is just like, you know, absolutely eager for him. But he loves it when someone gives him the chase. Like, God. But anyway, um, that was Coffee Bean, or at least the demo of it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys do want to play this for yourselves, link to the creator's itch.io page is in the description below. Um, yeah, I... Like, this is the creator's, like, first game they've made on Renpai. It's not bad. I like the writing. I did like uh, the artwork. However, I can see where some of the limitations are, mainly in... It's, it's mainly, like, all technical. Um, they just need to, like, understand, like, hey, uh, like, depending on the player's choices, like, it could potentially, like, uh, trigger, like, uh, certain scenes that happen later on. Uh, that is something the creator has to learn on their own. There are various communities out there that'll definitely help the creator out. Uh, I mean, myself, I'm, I'm in some of them, but either way, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, sorry for geeking out. Hope you, uh, hope you all have a lovely rest of the day and as always i'll be seeing you in the next video this is lion signing off ciao